Sustainable employment is the key to creating and maintaining housing stability. Homelessness and unemployment has risen in the last couple of years, and as a result, as a result, um, job job training and placement programs are critical in making sure these people have the tools they need to um, having a long-term success and stability. And that's where we come in with JJJ Training. My name is Jimmy Tran. I'm Randy Heggy. And I'm JJ Zet. So the problem is there's about 1.56 million people who are currently homeless in the U.S. right now. And that's anywhere from the limited resources they have from transportation or opportunity. And that's also with the financial issues they have and people are not willing to help them as much. And that just gives them a loss in hope. So our, pro um, um, solu our solution to the problem um, is a program called JJJ Training. It's a third party program um, that will be partnering with Walmart. Walmart, or it's going to help um, be the entity that we hire or people into from the homeless community. Uh, ours, we have a step-by-step -step program and that we have built that will cover job training in, in the interview process, as well as basic communication skills that all Walmart or employees use. We've uh, we built the program so it can be tailored into specific jobs around Walmart that Walmart looks for, uh, and. Also, oh, it's a very a kind of one-on-one -on -one per personal assistant in its level. Uh, we want to make sure that the people that come into our program, they feel oh, that we care, that there is someone out there that's willing to help, uh, and, that, and that they can fight for that, that long-term sustainability, as Jimmy was talking about. Transportation is another big issue ooh, that Walmart has uh, proposed to us, of how are they going to get there. Walmart tends to lead itself into the bus routes. They are uh, very close to a bus stop, if not the bus stop in most areas. So the Metro bus station, it'll be a large focal point in the training of making sure the homeless community knows how to get there and how to access that. Walmart invests $2.7 billion over a two year period in both education and training alone. Uh, they employ about 2.3 billion associates all over the world. When we spoke with them, they were not able to provide us with an average number of jobs that they do have available. However, with JJJ training, we will start off with 10 homeless individuals. And so in our case, both uh, JJJ training, the homeless individuals, and Walmart benefit. And some of the uh, things that make us different and us better than some of the placement jobs already out there is exactly that. They're just placement. So our biggest competitor out there is Work One. They do do jobs placement, and so do we. But what we offer is that job training program Randy was talking about, that step-by-step -step program they finish and they'll be more confident in their communication skills to work at Walmart. And we also offer that personal assistant, like Randy said, helping them every step of the way, helping them get into that long-term sustainable lifestyle. So our business model canvas is broken down into components that entail what it will take for JJJ training to be a successful business. So our partner, uh, that, or I should say the businesses that we're partnering with uh, for JJJ training are Walmart and Old National Bank. Walmart's our focal entity. We are going to be working to hire the homeless community into Walmart. Uh, we'll also, take, like I said earlier, tailor our program to specific jobs that Walmart's looking for. Old National Bank, I think uh, we spoke with a, a gentleman named Ron Hagee. He is actually a, their senior vice president of talent acquisition. He a, was very, very generous in donating his time as well as giving us an in-kind donation of all of the training material we would need, whether that be a module, a textbook, a workbook, um, a, online resources, anything in that realm uh, gave us a substantial information that even an old national uses for training. Uh, and then, like I said, he donated his time to help us build that program and to make sure it was solid it was professional level and it would give the, these uh, people from the community a great step up in the process. So some of the key activities we'll be doing is that training system, that step-by-step -step Randy was just talking about with Old National to help us build a program and we'll be able to set our um, homeless people through that. And also our beta testing with Walmart. We're gonna be running beta tests to see how they like our employees, how well our employees do compared to their other employees, and if, they, if this is a system they would like to continue. And as far as promotions go, we have many um, different channels we can promote our business through as far as social media and homeless shelters helping us pick out the, um, a homeless person who is um, capable of uh, finishing our program. 
our key resource is, you know, as I mentioned earlier, Old National Bank is our consultant, uh, as, even as well as Walmart to an extent of giving us feedback of what they are looking for for this process and we can tailor or even deeper. Uh, our, the facility, a, again, is an in-kind gift from Walmart. They're, they're allowing us to use their training room in their, their building um, to, to have access to a home base for us, as well as the computers, printers for online material, be able to uh, set up applications for, or, uh, at the end of the training and you know, just get through the whole training course with them. So the relationships is a big part of JJJ training. Our relationships with Walmart and Sean is a big reason why he's letting us do the um, beta testing and everything. And our relationship with Old National is a big thing with Mr. Hagee um, giving us all the um, training stuff. And our relationship with the homeless community is a big thing, helping all the homeless out. And our, our relationship with the um, shelters is a big thing, helping us pick out the right homeless to uh, finish our program. Also, we'll be able to tell success stories through people who finish our program, through our social medias, and there's also rewards through Walmart, where Walmart will be able to give rewards and take rewards. And also the rewards the homeless people will get will be endless. So our channels will include a website. So the website will entail uh, what it takes to be a part of the program, what all you need to do, and then our social uh, network pages, you can donate to uh, JJJ training through our social media, and uh, the social media pages will also link out to our website so you can get more information of what you need to do, how you can help. Um, and then our flyers, we will post those at Walmart, at homeless shelters, um, around the community, and then of course homeless individuals that are a part of our JJJ uh, training program, they can, um, that have been through it, can uh, refer others through our program by word of mouth saying, hey, I went, went through this program, it's, this is really good, this is what you need to do, um, it will really help you. And so our customers and stakeholders would include Walmart because they are the organization that's um, part, that we are part of, one of the organizations that we are partnering with that are gaining um, employees from us, and then the homeless individuals that are actually um, wanting to better themselves, and then the homeless shelters are the companies that are actually witnessing the homeless individuals uh, become something. So our, our value capture cost-benefit analysis breaks down own fairly simple. We got very lucky when talking with our, our partners to help cut our costs back. Um, the the hosting the web development um, as well as the web server is going to be done through a, a company called WordPress. It's you know it's an online web uh, web host. It's one hundred and twenty five dollars a year to have, have the, to uh, use their server, have a domain, and the reason it's only going to be the, the cost of hosting it is I'll actually be building the website myself. That is one of the, the key uh, or one of the resources is that I bring thing to the table in our group to help cut back the cost. Uh, our next two items we have are the in-kind donations from both Walmart and Old National of the building and the training materials to help cut back uh, the 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 legal the legal uh, costs, things such as filing, attorney fee is for making sure we get contracts set up, up within um, you know the business, get it set right, is going to be around three thousand dollars, and then we'll be paying ourselves those um, through you know kind of as we make the money back. Uh, the $50,000 varies um, for the first year times the three of us. So our first year revenues, you're looking at, at our goal is 2,000 people, or sorry, 200 people um, through, to get through the program and, and trained in the first year, or sorry, and hired in the first year. Uh, we're gonna okay. charge them 500, uh, $500 per person, and, and then and we'll actually charge Walmart $750 per person they hire. So that will bring in our revenues. All right, our value proposition. And for the homeless people all in the community looking for gainful employment, JJJ training can provide its opportunity is to have a step up and competitive advantage in the hiring process of Walmart. Choose JJJ training. <laughs> all right.